a slave to a wage. And this is where we were doing some teaching, and we tell people, act your wage. You know, everyone is acting their wage. Mm -hmm. And your wage is set by your own mind. Yes. If you make minimum wages, you're going to give minimum behavior. Your conduct is going to be at the minimum. Mm -hmm. So act your wage. And that's why you've got to move yourself into an infinite economy. Read on. We shall serve for the joy of serving, and prosperity will flow to us and through us in streams of plenty. The supply and support that love and zeal will set in motion are not as yet largely used by men, but those who have tested their providing power are loud in their praise. The dynamic power of the supermind in man has been sporadically displayed by men and women of every nation. It is usually connected with some religions, right, in which mystery and priestly authority prevail. The so-called common herd are kept in darkness with respect to the source of the superhuman power of occult adepts and holy men. Good. And let me just say this. This kind of knowledge is not for common men. Common men are kept in darkness. And when you start to understand this, you are privileged to come to light. Yes. It's a privilege that you were able, even able to see the light. Okay, Prophet Kelly, we're going to skip on over here now to page 416 and begin reading here, There is a kingdom of abundance. There is a kingdom of abundance of all things and it may be found by those who seek it and are willing to comply with its laws. Jesus said that it is hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. This does not mean that it is hard because of his wealth, for the poor man gets in no faster and no easier. It is not money, but the thoughts men hold about money, its source, its ownership, and its use that keep them out of the kingdom. Good. Your revelation about money becomes important because if it is not properly spiritually discerned, it can keep you out of a lot of good if you allow money to become the source. God wants you to have money, but never let money have you. Okay, read on Prophet Kelly. Men's thoughts about money are like their thoughts about all possessions. They believe that things coming out of the earth are theirs to claim and control as individual property and may be hoarded away and depended upon, regardless of how much other men may be in need of them. The same belief is prevalent among both rich and poor, and even if the two classes were suddenly to change places, the inequalities of wealth would not be remedied. Only a fundamental change in the thoughts of wealth could do that. But, there is, but before there is any fundamental social or economic change, men must begin to understand their relationship to God and to one another as common heirs to the universal resource that is sufficient for all. Mm. They must give up some of their erroneous ideas about their rights. They must learn that they cannot possess and lock up that which belongs to God without themselves suffering the effects of sequestration. Sus the poor man is not the greatest sufferer in this concentration of wealth, for he has not concentrated his faith in material things and change his soul to them. Good. And so therefore you got to watch that you do not chain your soul to money because of your erroneous thoughts about money. Okay, let's go over here now to um, um, read the last paragraph there. We want to make this substance. We want to make this substance that faith has brought to our mind enduring and abiding so that we do not lose it when banks fail or men talk of hard times. Good. And you know, that's the season we're in right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Banks are failing. I mean, today we've heard about mm -hmm. Bear Stern. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, men are talking about hard times. Mm -hmm. And guess what we're going to be preaching about? Money. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you all need to have a money consciousness so you do not buy the garbage the world is selling you. You will become millionaires 
in a recessionary period, there is money to be made, providing you hold in consciousness that there's only plenty of supply and all there is is mind. Read on, Prophet Kelly. We must have in our finances a consciousness of the permanency of the omnipresence substance as it abides in us. Some wealthy families succeed in holding their wealth while others dissipate it in one generation because they do not have the consciousness of abiding substance. Good. And I want to look at that for a moment there. Um, and some of you may need to write that down. The consciousness of abiding substance. Because I don't care how much money you have. If you don't teach your offspring that money is consciousness and they're looking at your material and they think that's the status that's holding it together, you're going to lose your wealth in one generation. Because they do not have what they, what um, Phil Moore is calling here, the consciousness of abiding substance. So I want everyone to type in, I walk in the consciousness of abiding substance. Come on, type it in. You can type it in. I walk in the consciousness of abiding substance. And we're going to get ready to close in a little while from the lesson because we're going to need to see how many people did the 191C. And we're going to um, get people to call. What did you say, Prophet Deborah? I have about 15 people that did 191 well, the prophets are here ready. They're sitting on the sideline yes, now waiting. Yes. Mm -hmm. You may tackle one or two tonight yourself. Huh? Right. We're going to be tackling them tonight. And you know what? If someone do a $1,911 one, I'll personally call them myself, mm. but you have to stay up beyond streaming. Jesus. I'll give you a call myself. I'll oh, give you a word no. from a secret place uh, that you won't Jesus. even be able to explain. Whew. I'll do uh, that. You know, I don't even get on the call. Jesus. I'm not talking about here from the desk <laughs> either. <laughs> I'm talking about where it be from my mouth to your ear. Jesus. All right. In your sacred place. In my, I'm going to go up in my <laughs> prayer room. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm going to download some information mm -hmm. for you Jesus. that won't be able to be said out loud on stream. Oh, my God. Mm. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but you'll have to wait until I go off the air. I'm Ooh. sure you can understand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if three of you do it, I will come mm. off the air immediately. Prophetess yeah. Deborah will take the middle Jesus. seat. Jesus. Mm. <laughs> and I'll just leave this seat and go on up because I don't want to be up until 6 a.m. in the morning mm, prophesying yes. to you. Mm, mm, mm. Amen. Marcia Davis calls it a sacred kiss. Mm. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That's good. Oh, Rabbi Shatta. Jesus. Ooh, my, 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 my. Mm. You don't know Ooh. what may be said in that moment oh, my, my. that can change the rest of your destiny. Mm. So the consciousness of abiding substance. For many of us, there is either what? Feast or a famine. In, in the, the matter <laughs> of what? Money. And we need the abiding what? Consciousness. See, that's what I'm talking about. The Jesus. abiding yes. consciousness of substance. If you don't have that abiding consciousness mm. of substance, you are going to the poor house. Mm. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. 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 You need to get into the abiding consciousness. You need to get, get into, into the, the abiding consciousness. Of substance. Of substance. Okay. Prophet Kelly, we're going to go ahead. Because I'm excited tonight because yes. I feel as though two people are going to do something mm -hmm. crazy that may do the $1,911. Yes. See, I just felt that. Jesus. I don't know why I felt it. Mm. Felt it. 
and the palm of my hand just started itching. Man, what 